Hi everyone, thank you very much for uh, turning out. Um, this is the fourth in our 2020 webinars. Uh, this one is called Top 5 Reasons to Upgrade to SharePoint 2013, presented by myself. There's my contact details, um, Dave at SharePointEdgeTech.com, uh, my LinkedIn, Twitter if you're on Twitter, blog and also uh, the web address as well. I'm a SharePoint consultant and also I'm lucky enough to be awarded the Microsoft MVP award. Um, but this demo itself will be very what end users can get out of um, SharePoint 2013. It's not uh, for technical people, it's really about end users. So, and it's very demo heavy. In fact, it's almost entirely a demo. So uh, without further ado, I think what we'll do is we'll come out of the slide deck and we'll go into SharePoint. So <clears throat> this, as you can see, is SharePoint 2013. Um, it's just a basic site uh, which we've been using for testing. Uh, there's still a few quirks that probably need ironing out, but uh, we're getting there. Um, this one here, for instance. Now, my top five, uh, I'll start out with um, videos. I'm a great um, lover of videos and streaming video as well, but uh, SharePoint 2013 handles videos in a totally different way, in a much better way than it used to. Um, if I go to a test site I've got here, as you can see, there are 20 odd videos here. And what I can do is, uh, if I click one, and it opens up a nice little player, and does play. If I pause that for a moment and then go back, you can see You can see that the, uh, the the video site there. The interesting thing is that um, what it does as well is it actually plays MP4 files as well. So it's a wider range of files than um, SharePoint 2010. The other thing you can do as well, uh, if we um, click on the little three dots here, we get a preview view here. But if I open that menu there and click on Edit Properties, one of the really cool things is you can change the thumbnail. So this is a little video from Family Guy, uh, but I can, what I'll do is I'll change it, so we'll just play, and then, I think that looks good. So as you see down there, that's now um, done that, and if we go down, click on save, that then changes the uh, the thumbnail there. So a much, much better approach to videos uh, than you used to get in 2010, I think. And uh, I'd be interested, because of the database size limit being lifted, I'd be interested to try to put some large files into SharePoint and see how well they play. But as I say, the uh, the key bits are, it isn't just M <coughs> WMV files or AVI files, now MP4 files play as well. So if you can download any YouTube videos, you can certainly uh, put them in straight away and they'll play. Uh, I think that was a vast improvement over the previous one. We'll have a look now at uh, embedding. Uh, we go back to the top level site. And I've got some subject sites here. Uh, let's go to the history one. And what we do is we'll... A little wheel and we'll add a page and I did this before in a blog post but I thought it was so powerful uh, particularly if you work in education as well so we'll add a page there I've got some text prepared over here so we'll paste some text in <coughs> so that's the Battle of Hastings up here what we do is we'll go insert, now we'll insert a picture, computer, we choose the file, and here's one I prepared earlier, as all good presenters should say. So let's tidy that up a little bit. But the really great thing is uh, the ability to embed videos. Now, if I go up to the insert here and choose insert a embed code, oops, what we do 
is we'll take the entire embed code copy, paste it in there. That brings up a preview window down here and you can click and play as well just to make sure you've got the right one. And then insert it straight into the page. So you can see you've got your text, you've got your video, you've got an image in there as well. If we go back to page and then save, you've got a great learning resource straight away. Uh, very simple to do and as you saw that took, I don't know, 30 seconds, not very long at all uh, to actually do it. Uh, so I think, I think that is a fantastic feature. And you're not limited either just to uh, videos. You can embed uh, anything with an embed code. So oh, the, one, the one thing I didn't show you uh, over here, which I should have done, so I apologize, is uh, on the videos. You can now actually get embed codes as well from your internal videos. So if we just pause that. And as you see, it actually creates an embed code. So you could have a video that you've downloaded uh, and put it on your site and then get an embed code and uh, load it up. If we go back again to here, what we do, just to show, we edit the page. If we uh, remove the, the video for a moment, and what we do is we'll insert uh, a PowerPoint. So this is a PowerPoint that uh, we've put online and it's about moving from Blackboard. But if we do that, insert a bed code, paste that in there, that brings up that, uh, insert, And then click save. And I've been lucky, it works. And as you can see now, we have uh, a PowerPoint as well. So you can very simply and easily create learning resources uh, with embedded PowerPoints or videos uh, reasonably painlessly. But we'll uh, move on. file handling. So we'll look at the file handling now in SharePoint. <clears throat> so the first thing I want to show you is if we minimize that. Uh, oh yeah, what we do is, as you can see, this file here is got an illegal character. It's got an ampersand and and. Uh, but now what you can do is you can drag and drop files very easily. And the really great thing is it actually tells you the reason why, and gives you a list of the illegal characters as well, the ones that aren't allowed uh, for files in SharePoint. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We'll try to. Uh, refresh the page. So where before you just got some spurious error, now it actually gives you a proper reason. And if I try to do it this way, so if I upload an existing file and choose and go there, the error handling here isn't quite as nice because it says the file name is invalid, all the file is empty because it doesn't like empty files either. But it does actually give you the illegal uh, characters there, so I think that's great. Uh, the other thing you can do now with um, SharePoint is, as, I say, as you saw, was drag and drop. So if I go to my documents, And what we do now is we just rename it and take out that illegal character. And then pick it up and drag. That then puts it straight in there as well. But the other thing you can do then is if you highlight or highlight two documents and just I'm just going to press the delete key on my keyboard. Oh, it didn't like that. Let's do that on that and then try the delete key again. As you see, then it brings up a little dialog box. Then you go OK and it just puts in the recycle bin straight away. So very similar to a desktop experience really, uh, which I just love. So new things, drag and drop, error handling, particularly on legal file names, and also delete as well. 
So what we do is we'll have a look at the search now, uh, which I also think is awesome. So if we do a search for history again, <coughs> here, as you can see, uh, it's found these. But what it now does as well is it now gives you a preview of the page or the file. Oops. Uh, that was a video. That's a Word document, but I think it's been deleted, so that's probably just in the cache. But there's one there. Uh, but just love the um, the ability to view. And also up here, you can also see how many views the pages have as well. Um, there, which I think is great. And what we do is we go back up here. I'll just show you one other thing, which is if we go to a file and we try this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to um, Office 365 and I'll explain why. Uh, we had a an issue with uh, here with firewall rules. So what I've done is uh, I've created a file here, the same one, the Battle of Hastings, where I take it from, took it from before. That went well. This is the test site on Office 365, so it is possible anything could go wrong. And it looks like it probably will. Okay, I'll move that over there and come back in a minute and just look at the uh, the last one, which is the web apps. And then it loaded. Hang on, let's go back here. So here we've got the Battle of Hastings uh, document. So let's open that up. As you see, and I just absolutely love the ability to be able to go here and translate. Now, we translate it to French. I'm not a French speaker. So I've got no idea how accurate this is, but it uses Microsoft Translation Services. And as you can see, it translated that document into French. And we can click on and see the original as well there, which I think is awesome. And that this is on 365 as well. Everything I've shown you so far, you can use on Office 365, uh, the new one, obviously, um, or on-premise SharePoint as well. But um, for the last one, we'll have a look at the web apps. So. As you probably know, uh, now, if I um, click here, I can then start seeing previews of documents. So, any document there at all. So, this is a PowerPoint. So let's click it, let it load up, and then you can scroll through. You can also have the ability to follow or share with others as well, uh, or indeed click and edit, and that will open it up on the desktop one. Or if I put that in the background, what I'll do is I'll just click a test document and we'll open it up in a web app. And uh, as you know, you can just type there and then it'll save, which I think is great. That's um, five of my favorite things. Uh, so we've gone through those really quickly, I know. But uh, are there any questions at all? Okay, so what I'll do is I'll switch back to the PowerPoint. And uh, just say thank you very much for listening. Uh, we do have another webinar tomorrow, which is uh, using Windows 8 applications um, to surface information from SharePoint. So if you're interested in that, please feel free to join. But just a quick thank you very much. And uh, if you have any questions at all, uh, I'll just put up a contact slide there. Uh, you can always email me there. So hopefully we'll see you all again tomorrow. So thank you very much. Good afternoon.